This quick tutorial will show you how to export and transfer dot product scans from your Apple device onto your Windows laptop or PC. The first step is to go to share slash export as other file from your iOS device and select your chosen file format. If you're going to be saving to DP, it's important that you use the DP compatibility format as shown here. Then press OK and save to your chosen output transform. Next, you'll want to select Save to Files to save locally on your device. And it's important that you save to the top level .3D folder, or in this case called .3D Beta. It will be called .3D in the final release, as this is what's accessible from iTunes on your Windows device. If you want to save to another file format, such as E57, you're going to follow the exact same procedure. And also make sure to save to that same top level .3D folder in this case shown as .3D beta for me, but it should be .3D for you. Now we're gonna switch over to our Windows machine for the next step. Here on Windows, the first step is to open iTunes and make sure you're running the latest version. Next, you'll wanna plug in your iOS device and you'll see it show up here in iTunes. You wanna make sure you select next this phone icon that I'm pointing at you might find yourself instinctively going down here where it says Chris's iPhone, but you do need to go to the phone icon instead where you can find the file sharing option. Next, to find your files, you want to select on your app, .3D, or in this case, mine still says .3D beta. Once you select that, all the files that are stored in your .3D folder, or in my case, the .3D beta folder, will be loaded on your screen. It's important to note that the date and time stamped autosave DP folders are typically automatically saved in the new DP format that is not compatible currently with .3D on Windows and Android or with third party DP import apps. So if working in the DP format, make sure you go to the export, in this case what we saved as stairs.dp in the compatibility format. Then you press save at the bottom to save to your chosen folder here on your Windows device and the file will directly save immediately in the same, with the same file name as shown here. It's important to note that the other folders you see here under my .3D folder cannot be opened from here within iTunes, so that's why any data you're transferring needs to be saved in this top level .3D folder as we're doing here, and also now doing the same transfer with the E57 file. Now that covers how to easily transfer your .3D data from your iPhone or iPad onto a Windows machine. For more information, please visit .product3d.com.